it's time for Eric Plays XCOM Enemy Unknown Session 3. Hey there guys, how's it going? It's going to be a short uh, <coughs> short playthrough today. Um, just uh, one mission. Uh, but before I do that, I want to... Uh, I decided I wanted to uh, to Oregon Trail things and uh, change people's names and just have a little bit of fun. Um, I'm going to leave Alejandro because um, he's such a <laughs> um, <coughs> he's such a well-known guy after all this time um, and I'll leave Eva as well because she's done quite a bit but everything else I'm gonna I'm gonna change so customize um, I'm not gonna worry about a parent race or any of that stuff although I guess I can change it if I wanted to but uh, you know what? That's cool. All right. So first name, Dina. Last name, nickname, the bride. Okay. Um, this will be Dan Mesa. <laughs> Nothing. <coughs> That's a play on his blog. Nothing to the table. Um, this guy has not earned a nickname, Mr. Ibrahim Farouk. This will be Dave. Um, this guy, this will be Min, and I have a nickname for Chen already. Um, though he's not ready to have a nickname just yet. So is this one supposed to be Asian, I guess? <laughs> Uh, let's see. First name. Brian. Alright, uh, I think that's it for now. I don't have that many friends and stuff, but... Fun times now. So anyway, let us... Uh, da -da -da -da. Nope, not here. Uh, let's see. Facilities. Right, I needed more scientists in order to have my my lift, and then I need to make sure Asia doesn't get too crazy, nor the UK, I guess. All right, so let's scan for activity. <coughs> okay. All right. So we have new laser weapons that we can make. It, have engineering make. Cool, cool, cool. And a laser rifle. Cool. Two new laser things. Alright, let's work on some armor. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Probably. And I can't build these because I need 12 engineers. So I need more engineers. Alright. Bummer to have stuff I can't use, but that's okay. We are extremely impressed with the oh, good. Of the <coughs> project thus far. Got a great A! Woohoo! Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. So it looks like maybe they gave me some more engineers and stuff and scientists. We will be in touch, Commander. Let's see if I have uh <coughs> Enough for any of the things I want. This morning, Good for them. Glad to have more help down here. So I don't have enough engineers yet for a satellite uplink. Um, ooh, each workshop gives me five engineers. I need to do that. Okay. And does anything give me... Does this give me scientists? No, it doesn't. Um, From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering, Earth, I don't have enough for this yet. There's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Okay. Let's go back to scanning. See if we can get one mission done here. Okay. 
people are back on active duty. All right, abduction. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. India, United Kingdom. So United Kingdom has a lot of panic. I don't want to lose them, so I should do this one. So I have Hernandez. So he's got an arc thrower, so he can capture somebody. He's got a medi kit. He's got the vest. She's got a grenade. She's got <coughs> a vest. And then I should do some kind of officer training school thing. <laughs> and here we go, flying over there. Let's do this. The next deployment site is in the UK. If we picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay. So here we are in Glasgow. I wonder if they did anything to model the cities or if they're all just generic. Ooh. I love these rain effects. This is awesome. And I'm this is just on my GT two fifty. Like, oh my god, that's so cool. Alright. So, let's see. I'm going to try not to be too, like, crazy to start with because I don't know where the aliens are going to come from. Dan's got the... Oh, dude. So, how do I remind myself of what people have? Because I saw before who had the... Uh, he's got the medikits. <coughs> Let's go, Dan. Alright. Dina has... She's a field medic. So she can use medikits three times, but I didn't give her the medikit, so I should next time. That's okay. She has smoke grenades. Uh, she can hide behind the fire hydrant, I guess. Or no, the trash can. And Javier has the thing to stun the bad guys. So Javi's the one that I gotta I gotta get next to an alien. Alright. No alien activity just as yet. Alright, Alejandro, let's go to this car. Okay, backer, let's go to this car. This is a disturbing sight to say the least. Okay. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not gonna win any beauty contest, that's for sure. So before, when I had the chance to get something against electronics, I didn't. So here are some electronic <coughs> bad guys that I've got to watch out for now. All right. So Dan, they're going to be coming from this direction. So Dan wants to take cover, like, back here. Because they might ha perhaps have a line of sight to Alejandro. All right, Dina. Let's put Dina. Uh, let's see behind the park benches. I'm not sure if there's a way to tell if this confer confers her cover or not. All right, and Hernandez is the one that has to get close to bad guys without killing them. Let's get him here. <laughs> All right, alien turn. Let's see what they do. Whoa. Well, that just makes all cover pointless. Nice. Did not hit Dina. Whoa. Crazy. Alright. 
So these guys just keep shooting even when it's not their turn? I guess so. Alright, let's see if we can smoke this fool. Alright, looks like I killed at least one of them. So these guys don't stop shooting. So it's going to be dangerous to move, I think. Alright, so he has another turn. I'm going to shoot this rocket. Over here. Oh, okay. In that case, overwatch. In case they jump behind me again. Alright, so now it's Lokas' turn. She's got a frag grenade. And she is, let's see... Lightning reflexes and tactical sense. So they have an aiming penalty. Alright, but they have, she has a defensive bonus. Alright, let's see. 10% to hit. 1% to hit. Because of, I guess this is because she's being suppressed, but let's go for it. Alright, she got it. Nice. Alright, Dan's all the way over here with the frickin' medikits all by himself. He does not see anyone, I don't think. Alright, I think, let's see, we leave Dan here. <coughs> can Dina shoot anyone? She can. Let's shoot this guy. Nice, good job, Dina. Alright, so this guy, I want to get him close enough to these guys, let's see. But if I get... I don't know, because this guy's always shooting, so, let's see. What did he do? I don't know what I just did. Maybe it's the... Oh, maybe it's like a two-turn thing. That guy's dead, for sure. Uh-oh. Didn't win. They weren't kidding about this being a, a hard level. So one, two, three, four guys. Some of which are hidden. Plus this guy's still shooting over here. Bad guys are up there. Plus, there's this freaking robot. Alright, let's see if this guy can even use his electricity thing on him. Stun. No targets available. No targets within range. So, I guess he needs to be at least this close to stun. Yeah, I think he needs to be within a radius. Okay, well, let's see here. Looks like I can move here. Yeah, Javier's gonna die. Alright. Cool. For the interrogation. Although he's out in the open, so you were a uh, sacrifice hobby, I guess. Alright. Let's move Dina before I forget. She is quite vulnerable to the new guys we've got out here. Let's see. Put her behind the cop car. Alright. Things are going to get tough. Alright. Let's go on Overwatch. <coughs> Let's see. I wonder, can he shoot his rocket far enough out here? Nice. Two guys gone. Or at least one guy gone. One guy still alive, I guess. Alright, let's reload. Alright, Dan. If you can come here, then Backer can meet you and get healed up. Ooh, they've got a my meld thing going.
Oh, they missed him, but I doubt oh, they're all going to miss him. get to move let's see all right local right Dan okay. prevent a critically wounded soldier from bleeding out is she critically wounded I don't know heal wound More info. Okay, so I will be healing her. Um, wait, more info? Right. Okay. Come on, you'll be back in the fight, Huh. Somehow it looks like just being next to him healed her or something. Or, I don't know. Hmm. <coughs> I'm not sure if I did what I was supposed to, but. Alright, what does Smoker need to do again? Units in smoke are hard to hit. Oh, it provides for protection for both people, both herself and... So let's see. Let's provide protection for my friends here. Alright. And this guy needs to get in cover right away. Alright. He's got the shredder rocket. Let's do that. Who's. Where are my bad guys? They're too far away. Alright, I'm gonna wait here for the moment. Hmm, this dude got healed up. Ooh, but he's coming. I can definitely hit him with my rocket next turn. Uh oh. If that car blows up, that guy's dead. Oh. <coughs> well, like I said, he was giving up his life so that we can get this uh, thing over here. All right. We still have two thin men we have to kill. All right. Guy here, guy here. All right, Dan. You got running gun. All right. Let's get. Let's see. Where can he go? I'm risking two people here, but it's the furthest he can go at the moment. <laughs> percent chance of winning hitting but hey I'm not sure why I need to reload when I can still shoot well he just blew up a car for no reason Oh, 
There goes one of the thin men. Whoa. Poisoned. What a jerk. Poisoned. The aliens inside the car, outside the car. Oh man, if he brings that thing back to life, that's not good. Alright, let's hold off on him for the moment. Alright, Dan, you can do this. Man, everyone keeps missing. Nice. Finally got somebody. Die too. I think at this point I only have to worry about the thin men. Oh, maybe not. This is tough in terms of figuring out where to flank. What the? Do this, come on, Alejandro. All right, does nobody have grenades? Come on, Dan, you got eighty percent chance. There we go. Finally. Poisoned again. Oh. She needs a medikit. But no one else has one except Dan, maybe? I think I'm gonna lose her. That's a real bummer. Alright, who's up? Let's see. Alright, looks like she can't do anything. She doesn't even have a turn. Does Dan have any more medikits? No. Alright, so she's dead anyways. Don't worry about her. Good shot, Dan. Dan is doing a good job. Alright, no targets for Dina. I know there's a guy in here. There's a guy... Where's he hiding? I can't remember. Here somewhere, maybe. This card's already blown up, so it can't get any worse. There's one alien and maybe another in here. Definitely gonna die. Stabilized or revived. If only I had more medikits. Another day. Nice. Another successful so she didn't die. Good. <coughs> that was a close one. Panic in China. Hey man, I didn't have a mission for China.
Alejandro's a captain now. Nice. Alright. Two grenades. Or... Suppression and all rocket attacks by two tiles. Ooh. Let's make his rocket attacks way better. Let's do it. Alright. So we lost Javier. But that's okay. He brought back a dude. And she's gravely wounded. But Dan did well and all that stuff. I know it wasn't easy, <coughs> but this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Impressive work indeed. Thank Operations you. in the containment facility are well underway. Okay, I think I'm already building one of those, but I'm not sure. Cool, so I got Oliver Williams, who's a heavy. Ah, oh, panic increased across all of Asia, I see. Alright. We will be watching. Good for you. Alright. The more I see, the more I don't want to see. That twisted hulk of flesh and metal, driven by the alien technology. Can we still call that life? Huh. We have to keep moving forward with the project, but the thought of treading the same path as the aliens is troubling. What if they were like us once? Are we just part of a continuing cycle? If this is a glimpse of our future, I want no part of it. Should enemy attempt aim on enemy attacks. Bullet swarm. Ooh, I like this one. So that would give me two heavies if I used him. Sergeant. Let's do suppression. So they give me a good unit, the Brits. Okay. And I've got these other guys here. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, research. We begin interrogating the alien subject immediately. I'm confident we can safely house it within the containment facility. But I can't say for how long. <coughs> Let's do this then. Let's interrogate him. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way that can possibly go wrong. The aliens never escape from their containment. <laughs> All right. I've got a lot of credits, which is good. I need to buy some medi packs. Lots and lots of medi kits. Okay. So now if I go to the barracks and Dan and look at his loadout medi kit. One per soldier. What a bummer. Alright. Let's see. Oliver. Oops. Uh, load out. Let's get rid of his grenade and get another medikit. We definitely need more medikits. And the one who had the arc thrower does not need to have that anymore. That is not necessary. Let's do a medikit. Alright. It's always good to have some grenades. Okay. I think we're good. Alright. Let's make sure we're saved up. So I have a save right now. Okay. Alright. So let's see if this doesn't freeze the game like it did yesterday. There we go. Alright. So, um, like I said, it was going to be a short uh, one today, but we did a pretty tough mission. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, uh, like I said, I would, I, uh, um, organ trailed it, you know, added in some people I know. So if they live or die or whatever, you know, it's kind of like that whole thing. Oh, you know, John, my best friend has dysentery. Ha ha ha. You know, all that stuff. Um, and, uh, 
what else? Um, as a reminder, even though it's pretty obvious because it's here on the um, bottom of my screen on my overlay, I'm playing for extra life. If there's any amount whatsoever that you can donate, um, that really, really helps. Um, it's going to Johns Hopkins, who saved my daughter's life twice. Um, and I really owe them a huge debt of gratitude. Um, so any amount you can donate is great. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Um, I love when people chat during um, my gameplays, so feel free to either through YouTube or through Twitch, come on in and chat. And um, I look forward to seeing you, and I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks a lot. Bye.